differential diagnosis of ventricular fibrillation and flutter, classification of arrhythmias. There are several classifications of arrhythmias and blocks. By location, arrhythmias can be ventricular, supraventricular. The last one can be sinus, atrial, and atrioventricular. By clinical cause, arrhythmias can be acute chronic and paroxysmal repeating. By influence on hemodynamic, arrhythmias can be safe without dangerous, potential dangerous, dangerous, and fatal. And but by heart rate, also, arrhythmias can be tachyarrhythmias, more than 100 beats per minute, and bradyarrhythmias, less than 60 beats per minute. Talking about ventricular flatter, ventricular flatter is a rapid ventricular tachycardia with a rate of 180 to 250 beats per minute and one of the most indecible. It is characterized on the ACG by a sinusoidal waveform without clear definition of QRS and T waves. It has been considered as a possible uh, transition stage between ventricular tachycardia and fibrillation and is a critically unstable arrhythmia that can result in sudden cardiac death. It can occur in infancy, youth, and in adults also. Flatter wave frequency is from 180 to 250 beats per minute. Ventricular flatter is a rapid ventricular tachycardia, as I told, which de de degenerates more frequently into ventricular fibrillation. Ventricular flatter occurs most often in severe organic heart disease. The most common cause is acute myocardial infarction. Some drugs, such as digoxin, quinidine, tricyclic antidepressants, may be triggers of a ventricular flatter. From a clinical point of view, a patient with ventricular flatter presents secondary sign of hemodynamic de 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 deterioration, loss of consciousness, the absence of peripheral pulse and collapsed blood pressure. ACG shows the following. Electrocardiographic waves with large amplitude with continuous ongoing and sinusoidal aspect the components of the QRS complex cannot be individualized. Electrical activity is impossible to identify. A characters that allow the differentiation from a ventricular tachycardia in which is possible the distinguish uh, between individual components of the QRS complex. And it's necessary to repeat that flat wave frequency is from 180 to 250 beats per minute. Clinical significance of uh, ventricular flatter, extreme form of ventricular tachycardia with loss of organized electrical activity associated with rapid and profound hemodynamic compromise, usually short lives due to progression to ventricular fibrillation. As with ventricular fibrillation, rapid initiation of advanced life support is required. How to recognize ventricular flatter? Continuous sine wave, no identifiable P waves, QRS complexes or T waves. And uh, heart rate, ventricular heart rate is usually more than 200 beats per minute from 180 to 250 beats per minute. Typical appearance of ventricular flatter. It is monomorphic sign wave at more than 200 beats per minute. And ACG looks identical when turned upside down. On the picture you can see typical ventricular flatter. Typical appearance of ventricular flatter. Ventricular flatter following a bolus of intravenous veropamal, you can see on this picture, a supraventricular tachycardia converts to ventricular flatter after administration of veropamil. 
The rhythm subsequently de degenerates into ventricular fibrillation. The rapid deterioration with veropamil suggests that the patient may have underlying Wolf Parkinson White syndrome. In Wolf Parkinson White syndrome, administration of veropamil or diltiazem during a supraventricular tachycardia may produce a paradoxical increase in ventricular rate by increasing conduction through the accessory pathway. Ventricular fibrillation. Ventricular fibrillation represents the disappearance of organized ventricular electrical activity. It is the most serious cardiac arrhythmias due to serious hemodynamic consequences with uh, which are inducing loss of pump function of the heart, collapse of cardiac output, and of blood pressure. Uh, most of the times, ventricular fibrillation is irreversible, fatal if the measures of CPR are external electric shock and, ex and external electric shock are not quickly applied to obtain an efficiency heart rate from hemodynamically point of view. Ventricular fibrillation is caused by chaotic reentry waves in myocardium of ventriculars. Clinical feature is suddenly syncope. On the electrocardiogram, chaotic irregular oscillations of isoline with frequency more than 250 bits per minute, QRS and T waves do not establish. Treatment is with cardiopulmonary resuscitation, including defibrillation. Uh, in terms of conditions of appearance, ventricular fibrillation may be primary in the absence of cardiogenic shock and heart failure and secondary, which occurs in patients with cardiogenic shock or heart failure. Triggering factors of ventricular fibrillation are most often a ventricular extracystal with air on T phenomena or can occur the degeneration of ventricular tachycardia or torsada de pointes into ventricular fibrillation. Clinically, patient, patients experience loss of awareness, uh, convulsive movements, respiratory arrest, peripheral pulse, and blood pressure are absent. In situations in which uh, the intervention does not occur qu quickly, will appear death. Here you can see on the upper side of the picture uh, ventricular paroxysmal polymorphic tachycardia tarsade de pointes type, and in the low part of the picture you can see ventricular fibrillation. Ventricular fibrillation rhythm strip chaotic irregular deflections without identifiable P, Q, R, S, T waves. Clinical significance of ventricular fibrillation. Ventricular fibrillation is the most important uh, shockable cardiac arrest rhythm. The ventricles suddenly attempt to conduct at rates of up to 500 beats per minute. This rapid and irregular electrical activity renders the ventricles unable to contract in a synchronized manner, resulting in immediate loss of cardiac output. The heart is no longer an effective pump and is reduced to a, a quivering mass. Unless advanced life support is rapidly instituted, this rhythm is invariably fatal. Prolonged ventricular fibrillation results in decreasing waveform amplitude from initial course uh, ventricular fibrillation to fine ventricular fibrillation ultimately degenerating into asystole due to progressive depletion of myocardial energy stairs. Ventricular flatter and fibrillation can lead to the development of ventricular asystole in which heart rate is absent, rhythm is absent, P wave absent or present, sometimes PR interval uh, we cannot identify Curious complex is also absent. Treatment. Ventricular flatter is a major cardiovascular emergency, and therefore the treatment should be done as quickly as possible. This consists in CPR measures and the administration of external electric shock of from 200 to 400 joules as soon as possible. If 
the measures of treatment are not quickly applied, the patient may die. Prevention of ventricular fibrillation recurrences uh, is achieved by intravenous administration of amiodarone from 5 to 20 mg per kilogram intravenous infusion for from 30 to 120 minutes, followed by intravenous infusion to a total dose of 1,200 mg during 24 hours, then is given an oral dose of amiodarone of 100 to 600 mg during 24 hours, also procainamide, lidocaine, or tosylate of bretillium. Some patients require implantation of a cardioverter defibrillator. To know more about the management of patients with ventricular arrhythmias and the prevention of sudden cardiac death, you can, with the help of reading um, ACG uh, new guidelines from 222. And thank you for your attention.